in today's video I'm gonna be starting a really exciting series um, so I've been wanting to film my collection for you guys and I'm gonna try and kill like two birds with one stone here so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be giving you a peek into my collection um, and then I'm gonna kind of when I go through set stuff aside that I think I want to de-stash and so if you all see something that I set aside to de-stash um, let me know and we can work out um how i get that to you and and pricing and shipping and all of that stuff it's kind of going to be like make me an offer and um we'll see where it goes i'm also planning to maybe get rid of like polishes in um what would you call it like a mystery bag maybe um do like five polishes shipped for so much so I got to look into that more because I don't know shipping costs, but I have a lot of stuff that I just got to get out of here and I feel like I have to get out of here quick because I'm starting to really get overwhelmed and stressed. So um, I'm excited because I know you guys, um, I've had a lot of requests for collection videos um, and I've had um, a lot of interest in the possibility of a de-stash. So <laughs> um, this is going to be a really long series. I'm looking around in my polish room right now and I'm like, it's going to be a long series. So um, what I'm planning to do is the first part of the series is going to be have a peek in my drawers. Um, and so I'm going to start with the Alex drawers and then I'm going to go into um, see what's on my racks. So there's going to be several parts to these, but I'm going to start the first part tonight. And I am super excited to share my collection with you guys. I have some really cool older stuff. Um, I just have a lot of stuff. <laughs> and so again, if you see something that I set aside and you feel like you could be interested, leave me a comment. If you follow me on Instagram, message me on Instagram and we'll make arrangements to um, figure that out. And then once I get the mystery bag thing settled, I will definitely do a video, share with you guys um, and post on my Instagram and all that fun stuff. So that is it for this intro and let's get started um, having a peek at what's in my drawers. So I'm excited to share with you guys. Okay, y'all, this is drawer one and I'm trying to figure out, so I think we'll do half a drawer at a time because there's a lot in here. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna pull stuff out of the drawer and talk about it on my desk just because if I hold this, you guys are gonna think I'm drunk. So, um, you can see I have um, paparazzis in here, Nina Ultra Pros, um, Avon, uh, Nicole by OPIs. I got some, I got some stuff in here. Mary Kay. Um, so I'm gonna pull half of these out and put them on my desk, and then we'll start. Um, kind of just all flash bottles. We'll talk about them a little bit, and then um. I'll kind of go through what I'm gonna go through. I think that's gonna be the best way, so. Okay, so I think I have half my drawer out and then I'm just gonna get started. I have a little bucket off to the side of stuff I don't think I'm gonna wanna keep and this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard, but let's get started. So the first brand I wanna share with you guys a lot of these haven't been touched. They've got some really ugly bottle syndrome going. Um, it's going to be Dermalect. So this this brand is no longer being made. I'm trying to make sure that my camera is focused. So this brand is no longer being made. Um, this polish... Let's see here. This polish. I don't know if these have names. I don't see anywhere. So this is a brand that's no longer being made. Um, this is Dermalect. I don't see a name on this bottle. Um, but this type of color, I'm never sure about on myself. So I'm gonna put this in a the bucket, and then I'm gonna. Put it on a wheel and see what I think about it. Um, looking at it, I think I am going to like it, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to put this aside. Um, this is another Dermalect, and this is definitely a color I have a ton of. 
Um, I'm sure I have some of these from OPI and some other brands, but I'm gonna put this in a maybe pile and see if I like the formula. <clears throat> and then this is the last color I have from Dermalect. Um, man, I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile as well because um, I have a blue similar to this that I had put on a while back that I just did not enjoy. So that's gonna go in the maybes. Okay, I'm feeling kind of good. Um, I have one square hue in my collection. It is this purple color. Um, this is called I Ikeaka, something like that. Um, this is gonna go in the pile to get rid of. I know this has a good formula, but I think I have a ton of colors like this from OPI and some other brands, so I'm gonna stick with those. So that will go in the D-stash. Um, let's see what I got here. I have one Bonita polish. Um, this color is amazing. It's not going anywhere. Uh, this is called Royal Wishes. I picked this up a while back. It was, well, it's been a long while back, but it was part of like a limited edition collection. I know I like this, so this will definitely be staying. Um, I have this really old Jordana glitter. And this, I don't think has a name either. Not that I can see. Um, but I picked this up when I first, first, first got into polish. I had opened up a Pinterest. Someone used this over like a light teal polish and I had to have it. And I am going to keep this because I think that it's a beautiful glitter mix. You get some really pretty red glitters and then some like larger uh, metallics in teal and silver and pink and so um i had a couple other bonita glitters that i got rid of recently i sold but this one i'm gonna or not bonita jordana glitters but this one i'm gonna keep um let's see here so i have a bunch of these nyc polishes which are older this used to be a brand you could get at the drugstore um this one is a crystal couture nyc it is called Royal Queen. Um, when I wear this, I layer it over a red and I really like it. So I think I am going to keep this one. Then there was a purple um, in that same collection. This one was called New York Princess. Um, I think I'm going to put this in the maybe to try because I haven't worn it. Then I have this really beautiful pinky purple. I used to wear this polish a lot. Pedicures, manicures, obsessed with it. Um, this one is called MoMA. But I feel like, again, I have some more colors similar to this in OPI and other brands, Zoya probably, that probably have better formulas. This is super old, so I would assume formulas have improved. So I'm going to put this in the D-stash pile. Um, this was another one, you guys. You can see, um, there's a fill line on this to about here. I wear this constantly. It's like sort of like a pinky, corally red. Um, this one is called Times Square. I have several colors like this now, and so I'm gonna let this one go. Um, and then I have this topper from NYC, and it's kind of like a dupe for, um, oh, it's a Zoya polish, Maria Lucia, something like that and i've worn this before and i really like it so i think i don't have that zoya so i'm gonna keep this um it's sort of like a gold flake kind of look and i think it's super super pretty the last time i used it i really enjoyed it and so i'm gonna keep that um what else do i have here i have some jesse girl polishes um so these are satin finishes and they're really pretty with top coat, but again, I feel like I have similar things, so I will get rid of this one. Um, this is called Sea Glass, but I think I'm gonna let it go. Um, this one is similar to a few polishes I have. I know I have something like this from um, LA Girl, LA Girl, LA Colors, and I think I have a similar Zoya. This is called Glee. And so I'm gonna let this one go too. Y'all, this is hard. 
this is sort of like a sheer topper kind of polish this is called confetti i have never worn this so i think i'm going to keep it see what i think about it and um see what i think there this one is a neon coral it's definitely being washed out on camera um it's really bright very neon formula kind of sucks but this is called carolina beach um i love this polish so i'm going to keep it because i make it work and then this is another polish i've worn quite a bit of i really like this one one of my used to be favorite pinks ever before my collection exploded this is called beach baby and i think i'm gonna keep it i know i have stuff similar the formula on this one is good though so i think for now i'm gonna keep that one um i have this pop nail glam in like a glittery kind of finish this is called blue cosmos um i was actually thinking does this remind me of the bonita but it is different i've never tried this brand this is the only bottle i have of this so i think i might keep that to see um i have a just add sun solar polish changes in sunlight indoor it's supposed to look like this outdoor it's supposed to look like that i have never tried that so i will keep that to try um i have some polishes here that so i have one from this brand called savina i've never tried this brand before i got this at like um nordstrom rack i think and this is called Pinky Promise. It looks amazing. So I think I'm going to keep this for sure. I haven't tried it, but if the formula sucks, I'll let it go. But the formula could be good. So I'm going to hold on to that and see. Um, I have a couple of really old polishes from Icing. This looks totally dried up. Let's see. Yeah, that's a gunky mess. I wore this a ton, you guys, but I'm going to just throw that away. Um, I have this other icing. I loved this topper. It was like the most beautiful holographic glitter, but I think this has also dried up. Yeah, I don't think I want to waste any thinner on that. Well, do I? No, that gave me its money's worth. I'm going to throw both of those away because they're just dried out. Um, oh, I had another Savina polish. This is sort of like a really beautiful blue holographic um, sparkling water. I'm going to keep this because I haven't tried it and I want to see how I feel about that. Um, I have another glitter here from Icing Polish. And this is like silver sparkle glitters with matte black glitters. This is called Industrial Chic or Chick Chic. Um, this does not appear to be dried out. All the glitter has sunk to the bottom, but I could definitely get that going with a mixer. Um, I don't have any other glitter like this. I feel like this is an interesting glitter mix, so I will keep that. I have this polish from Icing. I think it's super cute, um, but you have to use it as a topper because it's really, really sheer. So last time I wore this, I wore it as a topper over something, and I really enjoyed it. So oh, I'm horrible at this. I think I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I'm a horrible person you guys um then i have some really old maybelline express finishes that i bought on the vintage nail polish site um this was like my jam back in the day and it was very nostalgic for me and this one is called gray glamour and it's a gray with some like really pretty shimmer i'm gonna keep that I have another Maybelline Express finish. This one is called Grand in Green. It's a really beautiful dark green. Um, it has a little bit of shimmer. I think like it's giving you more shimmer in the bottle than you actually see in person. But um, I'm keeping this one. I have a couple from Sassy and Chic. These are dollar store polishes. Um, I'm obsessed with this color of green. I have not tried this yet, but it looks amazing. Um, this is 925. Then I have 922. This is the most beautiful grandma with some blue shimmer that will stay with me. And then I have 935. This is new color. Um, the models are similar. I would assume it's like maybe made by the same company or something, but it's really pretty green with shimmer. I want to try that because I have not tried it and it looks gorgeous. Okay, so now 
what else do I got in here? Let's go through these paparazzis. Um, not, a lot of these have not been worn. So this one is Mixtape Jam. I think I'm going to keep that. This one, um, oh, you guys know I'm a sucker for these kind of colors. This is Maroon Moon. I'm going to keep that. Uh, this one is called Into the Fog. It's a really beautiful sort of like grayed out teal. I'm going to keep that. Um, this is a green with some shimmer. This is called Head Over Teals. Oh, I'm going to keep that. And then this glitter, you guys, I'm obsessed with. This is called Yin Mi Siang. But I'm looking now and I think it might be dried out. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is dried out. I'm going to try and save this one though because I really enjoy this glitter. I wear it a lot or I have worn it a lot. So I think I'm going to try and save that. If it's not savable, then I'll throw it away. But maybe I have... I need to see. I might have some other ones of these. Um, I have a couple of other ones. I guess I'll see if they're dried out too. But for now, I'm going to keep. I have a few Nina Ultra Pros here. These are from Sally's. I have this really beautiful pink. This is called Punky Pink. Um, as you can see, I have a type. Um... I kind of like the shade of the Jessie's Girl a little bit better, so I'm going to get rid of the Nina Ultra Pro. This is a gold holographic top coat. I'm going to keep it because I feel like sometimes you want that in your life. Um, this does not have a name on it, but it's like a purple with like some holographic glitters. I'm going to put this in the maybes because I never tried this and I don't know if I like the finish or not. So I'm going to put that in the maybes. Um, this is another Nina Ultra Pro. This is called Butterfly Wings. Um, this is like a topper. And I've worn it once. And I think it's really pretty. But I don't think I'll wear it again. So I'm going to get rid of it. Next, I have some polishes from a brand called Wim. You used to be able to get these. I'm shaking them up because they look ugly. You used to be able to get these at um, Ulta. And I picked up a few on clearance when they got rid of them. This color is called... I'll send you a postcard. Um, I've worn this a few times and I really enjoy the shade of blue that it is. And it has a good formula. Um shoot but then i'm like i probably have a ton of blues like this from opi and other brands so oh, i think i'm gonna get rid of that then i have some glitters here i think this glitter is just so interesting it's like a matte um tan glitter like it's just weird but i have never figured out what to pair it with because it's weird but I think I'm going to keep it because I feel like there it could be a perfect pairing somewhere and I'll find it. Um, and then this is really cute. It has matte white glitters with holographic. So I'm going to keep this. This is called Frosted Cupcake. I think this is just a really fun glitter and I think it's versatile. So I'm going to keep that. Then I have a couple of Everglaze polishes. These were when China Glaze put out another brand. Um, this one here is really, really pretty, but I have some similar polishes to it. So I'm going to let this one go. This is Royal Satin. Um, oh, you guys, this is a neon pink with some really beautiful shimmer. I think I'm going to keep this one. This is called Will You Be Mine? I'm a sucker for those pinks, you guys. You already know. Um, and then I have some um, hard candies in the tall bottles when they were doing the tall skinny bottles um i kept a few of these this was actually sent to me by a subscriber and i think it's so pretty um let's see if i can find a name so she put a cabochon on top and i think the name is there but look at that you guys it's the most beautiful blue shimmer i'm gonna keep that um, this one was 
really interesting when it came out and I remember people like blogging about it and and writing about it and I was like oh I love it um I bought it I don't think I've ever worn this um this is called cotton candy pink looking at this shade of pink against my skin tone like I just I love pink but some not all pinks look good on me and I feel like this is one that is not going to be good like I prefer my pinks either a little more pale or a little more bright so I may swatch that on a nail hill and see but I think I'm gonna let that one go this one is another one everybody was blogging about and I think I'm gonna keep this is called little bow pink the shimmer you guys it's the shimmer for me on this looks gorgeous um, then I have a bunch of Maybelline color shows. So these are in desperate need of being shaken up. This is from the bleached neons line they put on. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watched Young Wild and Polished, but she was obsessed with this line. And I found this one at my store and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. But I don't like the color on me, so I'm going to let it go. This is called Citrus Collide. Um, I have Denim Dash. Oh, I'm going to keep. Look at that shimmer. It's a beautiful blue. The shimmer is gorgeous on the nail. Um, so that's going to stay with me. <laughs> um, I have another one of the bleached neons. And this is sort of like um, chartreuse color. This is called Lime Accent. I do love this on me. Formula kind of sucks. I'm going to keep and see if I have something similar to this. Um, which I'm sure I do in another brand with a better formula, but for now I'm going to keep. Um, and then I have Pink Punch. Someone sent me this as part of the Bleach Neons collection, and you guys, it's so good. The formula is not the greatest, but I make it work because I love it. That I'm going to keep. I am really bad at this, you guys, in case y'all haven't noticed. Um, next up is called Twilight Rays. This is sort of like a black with some gold. Um, I'm going to let this go because I feel like I have some China glazes similar to this that I know for sure I love. Um, and this one, yeah, I'm going to let that go. Um, then they came out with like a polka dots collection. I have two of those. There's this pink. This one is called Pretty in Polka. Pretty in Polka. <laughs> Um, and then this one is um, a teal, and this is called Drops of Jade. I love the finishes on these. I'm keeping both of those. I think they're interesting and fun. And y'all can judge me and say you barely got rid of anything, but that's okay. Um, then they did a, like, street art line. Um, this glitter, you guys, it has matte neon, like, green glitters and matte black glitters. Obsessed with this. Um they had some other colors i miss when the drugstore was doing this like i'm not even lying like you could get this at the drugstore 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 like the drugstore used to give me life and now the drugstore does not give me anything like you could get this at the drugstore you can get this at the drugstore. Like the drugstore needs to step up its game, quit messing with me, and go back to this. Because like this is amazing. Um, Again, not getting rid of this. I actually might put this on my summer rack because it's amazing. Um, And then I have this one, which was part of their brocades collection. Um, I've never tried this. And I don't think I'm going to let it go yet. This is Lavishly Lilac. So I think that was, oh no, wait, I pulled out a few more. I was going to say, I think that was really long. I pulled out a full, a few more. So a while back I bought these um, vintage Mary Kay polishes. They're from the 90s. They're amazing. Um, very ugly bottle syndrome. Let me shake these up for you. But these are like quintessential 90s colors. They're grandma colors. Um, I've been watching Diana, some call me Coco, and she was calling them, um, what did she call it? A Tia color? I don't remember what she called it, but like this is that for me, and you guys, I love it. It has a little bit of shimmer. Um, I will put this on, and you cannot tell me it's not 1995 
and I'm not like a freaking sophomore in high school living my best life wearing a crop top with my Doc Martens on listening to Nirvana like you can't tell me and so um I'm keeping them <laughs> I've gotten rid of a few I'm gonna have to get better that's for sure um but such is life this one is a little bit more coral this is called dusty rose but it's so flattering on you guys this is like the kind of color you could wear to an interview um these colors kind of remind me of my grandma my grandma never wore polish but if she would wear polish it would be a shade like this like i've seen her in polish a couple times for like weddings and stuff like that like this would be it this would be the color um, this one is gorgeous, you guys. It's like sort of um, like a deep chocolatey brown. I've worn this a few times since I bought it. And then I'll put a matte top coat on it. Oh my gosh, perfection. Um, when my nails are like long and just, oh, I'm obsessed. This one is called Downtown Brown. Um, obsessed with Downtown Brown. So I will be keeping that. These do have like the really older polish formula um and it's interesting when you are used to like newer polish formulas to go back to older ones but you guys i mean look at that you can't tell me anything about that <laughs> and this one is called strike a pose rose the shimmer is amazing the color is amazing like this in the fall oh you guys just i don't even know nobody tried to stop me with this i think i'm gonna put all these on my fall rack <laughs> Um, but those are all staying with me. So, um, let me count how many I, or let me show you guys my little bucket of what's leaving. Okay, so this is the bucket of what's leaving. Um, this is half, I'm going through half of my Alex drawer. Maybe I'm not doing that bad. Um, but I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17 polishes. There's a couple I'm going to look at to see what I really think. I really should just leave them in here, honestly. Like, do I really need to look at them? I probably, I don't. I don't need to look at them. I just need to be like, like get them out of here. Because they they've been in this drawer. Some stuff in here was actually a surprise to me. Like, oh, wow, I have this. Um, And so really, am I going to miss them? Probably not. So if you see anything here that you think you might like, leave me a comment. Um, you can message me on Instagram um, and we can figure something out. I know some of this stuff is kind of like, eh, but some of this stuff is you can't get anymore. So like if you've always wanted that and you've been lemming polish for a long time, like hit me up because I do that sometimes. So that is it for have a peek in my drawers. Look at my polish collection part one. Let me know if you guys like this format, if you have any ideas for a better format, because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'll be willing to change if you guys want to see something presented in a different way. And um, I really feel bad that all these pretties have been sitting in drawers. So that is it for this video, you guys. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks, you guys, for watching. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you are having an amazing evening. Bye.